Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. If you do get a chance, please like and subscribe this video. One thing I have realized with creating anything firearm related content that YouTube makes it really difficult to get this material out there. So any likes and subscriptions really helps me out. Also interacting in the comments is extremely helpful. So I do appreciate it. And again, thank you for checking out this video. So with that being said, let's get into it. Today I'll be reviewing the Comfort Tac Belly Band. I use this quite often, I mean two to three times a week I will have the belly band on. Uh, I usually use it uh, for our family walks. My wife and I like to take the kids out for an occasional you know, walk around the block two to three times a week just to get out of the house and uh, majority of the time, at least I would say 99% of the time, I'm grabbing the belly band. Um, I'm in, you know, my sweatpants or a comfortable pair of shorts, and I just don't want to put a belt on. And the the comfort tack, the belly band, is extremely comfortable and makes it really easy just to throw on without having to worry about, you know, having a belt on or anything like that. Now there are a few things that I really, really like about uh, this system, this carry system, and there's a two two things that I wouldn't say are concerns, but something that you should be mindful of if you are going to use this or purchase this uh, retention system or this holster, I guess you can say. So right off the bat, one thing I do have to point out is that it really lives up to its name. It's extremely, extremely comfortable to carry. Uh, a lot of the time, you kind of forget you even have something on the side. Um, it's that comfortable. Another thing which is not advertised on their website that I found extremely helpful is that I have a really bad back from some injuries that I sustained in the military and it almost acts like a little back brace. I, I, I carry it kind of on my lower back area. Uh, I'll have that height system right there as you can see in this video. That's where I like to carry this um, and it does support my back a little bit. Uh, carrying a firearm, especially if you're carrying full size, sometimes you know uh, people with bad back, even that little extra weight can, you know, cause some issues or your flare up. And with the belly band, it acts like a little back brace. This isn't something they advertise, I don't think. I don't haven't seen that on their website, but it does something to uh, keep in mind when you are considering this. Okay, another thing that I like about this is the fact that it's really, really easily adjustable. You have this Velcro uh, that you're able to adjust pretty quickly I mean and as you can see that velcro is pretty strong so it's not coming off even with the full-sized uh, firearm you're gonna see in a minute that it's able to hold that so I got a medium here and it accommodates according to their website you know like your waist from 28 to what uh, 36 or something like that you have to look at their website to be uh, very specific on that but for me I have a medium and it's kind of um, lost weight with me and it's kind of gained weight with me. So uh, that's something to keep in mind that it's extremely user friendly as far as if you put on some pounds, you can open it up a little bit and it still has really good retention. Or if you lose some weight, it'll tighten up very easy, kind of grows with you or loses with you. So that's something that I found extremely convenient as well. Okay, so moving on to the, another point that I like uh, is that it's able to accommodate a variety of different firearms. Now when I first purchased this, I purchased it for my Glock 26 that had a TLR6 on it. Unfortunately it did not fit with the TLR6 but according to their website you're able to kind of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You can kind of uh, customize it to your firearm. So what I went ahead and did, as you can see right there, there was some stitching. Um, I cut that stitching, and when I cut that stitching, it fit that Glock 26 with the TLR6 perfect. I mean, it was a perfect fit. And you, you know, their website says you can also re-sew it or sew it to, you know, tighten it up a little bit and just fit your firearm. So that's really convenient for me. I really like that. I don't carry it with the Glock 26 anymore. I mean, I don't carry the Glock 26 as often anymore is what I'm trying to say, but what I use it with my SIG, and uh, my SIG doesn't have a light on it, uh, which might change in the next couple weeks, so uh, if I decide to put the light on it, then I'll obviously keep it this way, and it'll hold the SIG pretty nice. If I do not put the light on my SIG, the TLR6, then I will go ahead and just sew that part up to make it tighter to carry with the SIG. So very convenient. It will accommodate tons of different firearms. You can look on their website and it shows a lot of different firearms listed there um, that you're able to use. Uh, another thing that's pretty cool that it comes with is it comes with a little extra pouch right here and you're able to uh, 
I've seen pictures where people had flashlights in there. I mean, knives, things like that. They also come with an extra mag pouch that you can clip on, or you can Velcro on there. I don't carry it with any of that. I don't carry an extra mag when I'm out going for my walk. Um, when I, I'm, like I said, I'm carrying my SIG, and I'll usually put in the 15 plus one with the SIG and carry it that way, which is still very comfortable. Uh, no issues with um, retention with the SIG or carrying that extra weight. I'll show you a quick video. You can see. Um, I'm carrying it with my SIG here, really good retention, no sagging on the side. Um, and just for fun, I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, if you're a person that likes to carry a full-sized, you know, firearm, um, then more power to you. And here it is with the CZ SPO one This is a heavy, heavy all-steel firearm, and it is holding that up nicely. Uh, there's no crazy sagging going on. You can see when I jump, uh, it still retains that Velcro is pretty strong, so... It'll hold that up. If you want to carry a full-size 1911, SIG, uh, CZ, whatever, full-size uh, Glock, you can see that it'll hold that up pretty nice. Again, no issues with uh, retention there or the Velcro coming loose around my waist. It's I've had it for years, used it a lot, and the Velcro is still as strong as the day I got it. Okay, like I said, there are two uh, things that you need to be mindful of when using the belly band. Uh, I wouldn't say concerns. It's just something, if you're mindful of it, you'll be okay. Okay, the first thing is this strap here. Uh, as far as the little button retention goes, it's not very strong. Um, it'll come on, it'll come loose sometimes when I'm walking around. I can feel it. It'll pop off. Big issue? No, not really. Uh, it's just, again, something to keep in the back of your mind. I'll, I'll reach down and check every once in a while, make sure it's still buttoned there. But it does seem to come loose a little bit. Uh, like, a, not the end of the world. Just be mindful of it. Uh, the other thing that's a little bit more uh, concerning as far as having this piece is that it is inside where your firearm goes, this little piece here. Um, let's see if I can get that on camera there. So to me, having anything inside where your firearm's going is a no-no, especially um, those who you should carry with one in the chamber. And no external safety, obviously, on the Glock. It does have the trigger safety there and some other built-in safeties. But just, just for concealed carry purposes, having anything that can uh, touch that trigger, to me, is a big no-no. Um, I haven't had any accidental discharges with it or even close calls because I think I'm just extremely mindful of that. Uh, I, don't, I haven't read anything about... Um, anyone having any issues where their firearm is going off because of this piece inside there, which is a plus. So it means, you know, people are mindful of it and it is not an issue. I'm um, sure if it was an issue, they would change that design, but it's just something that I choose to be a little bit extra mindful of. So when I am uh, reholstering this or putting this in uh, the sleeve there, I am mindful of where this piece is, that it's not a wrap around the trigger, it's not bunched up in there. And then I go ahead and snap it, and I'll put it on my waist with the firearm already inside of that little pocket. I don't do it the other way around. So it's just an extra step to be a little bit more cautious. Other than that, I haven't had any issues with the belly band. I think it's extremely comfortable, especially if you're not wanting to put on a belt. Um, you could put it under your pants, or you could put it over your pants. I prefer carrying it over my pants. It actually acts like a little belt and holds my uh, sweatpants up or my shorts up. So uh, the belly, uh, belly band, the Comfort Tack, in my opinion, is a go. It is a very good product. I think it is a really good option for those people who are maybe running out to the store or, uh, like I said, going for a walk with the family and just don't want to get dressed up and put the jeans and the belt on again to carry um, anything inside the waistband or outside the waistband. This is just very convenient for me. And I will continue to use it. And um, as the time goes on, if anything changes or my view changes, I will definitely update you all. But that's it. Just wanted to give a quick review of the Comfortech belly band. If it's something you're considering, um, please consider those points I made and obviously the things to be mindful of when using uh, this system. So I appreciate you all stopping by and checking out this review. I do have some more videos upcoming, so I would appreciate it if you guys would uh, like and subscribe so you can get those videos and turn on the uh, post notifications so you can see when I post again. So I appreciate you all. Um, everyone, I hope you have an amazing Christmas and I hope you had an amazing Thanksgiving and I'll catch you all on the next one. God bless.